Okay. Kind of, kind of late for turning the torches off. Or just putting them out. No, I want to put it back on. I don't want to light it. I want to search this shit. Oh, this is stupid. Let me fucking search these guys. Jake, oh. Oops. It's actually using the Igni sign. Dude, I want to search this. Oh, fuck you. guards in here. They're going to have to get a lot of new guards. They haven't really told me how to how to use the crafting items yet. I'm just walking Come in, in there. Master Geralt. Allow me to introduce the Baroness Lavalette, mother to the royal children, who at present mourns the passing of her eldest son, Milady. I comfort the Baroness with assurances that House Lavalette needs suffer no more, its future brighter as it stands protected by the Empire of Nilfgaard. Did you kill my son, Arian? Yep. choice. He knew what can happen once swords are drawn and begin to swing. He chose death over shame. Stubborn like his father and grandfather before him. Honor above all. How did he die? Did he suffer? No, I just killed him. No. I doubt he felt the final blow. Didn't even see it coming. There's that, I suppose. Milady, I killed many during the assault, not just your son. War demands sacrifices. You might remember that the next time you're about to start one. Have some compassion, Master Geralt. The Baroness requires support. She is distraught as it is. Unnecessary toil, Excellency, for witches have no feelings. Bullshit. And the truth, especially when painful, can wake us from the slumber of self-deception. Milady, I wouldn't trust the Ambassador Gosh. if I were you. Master Geralt, let us be serious, please. Let him speak. I wish to hear this. I didn't know your son, but I know he saw the Empire as a foe, as did King Foltest. You've no notion of the events transpiring in the kingdom, of what Kimbolt, Maravel, and their ilk are capable. My duty is to Foltest's children, their safety. And though I too see a pact with Nilfgaard as a pact with the devil, I feel I have no choice. Besides, can you say that you really knew the king? Well enough to be confident of my words. Truly? In that case, what kind of a man was he? I wish to know your view. Pretty much, yeah. He laughed at pleasantries, envied those better than him, feared those stronger, despised the weaker and killed those he hated. Those he loved he presented with ballistae. He was a man like any other, except he was born to be king. True. He was a boar in a crown. My lady. <laughs> and that was the first and last honest epitaph he'll get. Once the poets start in, nothing will remain of the real faultist. My lady, Sir. you will set down your memoirs. I shall make that my mission. Once we bring in the appropriate artist... Later, Excellency. All in due time. The ambassador questioned your guilt. she's dressed. It seems now that I, too, believe you did not slay the king. Your Excellency, 
You will aid the Witcher to escape the castle. It. That is my wish. But, my lady, this would represent an immeasurable risk in my estimation. And there is the matter of your son. He chose his fate and departed in a manner worthy of the Lava Lets. How am I to believe you'll protect me from reptiles like Kimbolt and Maravel when you balk at the notion of deceiving a few prison guards? Milady, I shall do what is in my power. Give me a moment, she's, Witcher, well, then proceed to the main gate. She's pretty strong-willed. I like her so far. Dungeon of the Lava Lets. Okay. This, this guy's gonna probably double-cross me. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. I was gonna open this door now. Guards! The witch has fled his cell and is raging in the dungeon. Restrain him immediately. But I one know. more word, soldier, and I shall personally make certain you hang beside the fugitive to the dungeon on the double. Ah, so he's tricking them. Or maybe he's, he's I don't know. Find that fucking cover, you idiot. Okay, he's running that way. What the fuck? What was that? Why did it go? Why did it fall close? Nice, so he didn't double cross me. Reach the riverboat. Why would they let me go down here? Oh, it's an herb. It's in this box here. Tools. Leather. Can open that door? So let's go back up here. Oh, there's another, another crate. More crates. Wire. Okay. There's the actual guards up there. First game too. I might have found a bunch of shit in these in these crates and barrels. Ah. Now where do I go? I'll have to go over this way. So probably past these guards, huh? Yeah. Hello. Anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. 
I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Marivo rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? <laughs> Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Thank you.